हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टेस्टर टेक्नोलॉजी स्टार्टिंग लिमिटेड माय नेम इज सौरभ मिश्रा एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट द मिक्सिंग प्रोसेस मॉड्यूल सो इट्स ऑर्डर कोड इज 2223620.3.16 सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट्स कंपोनेंट्स एंड इट्स वर्किंग सो फर्स्टली स्टार्टिंग विद द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस मिक्सिंग प्रोसेस मॉड्यूल दैट हैव थ्री टैंक्स ओवर हियर टैंक 1 2 एंड 3 these are the proximity capacitor sensors fitted across it okay which senses the water level then these are the funnels which are connected in this uh, whole product and valve uh, this is these are the valves connected with each of the tank two valves for each tank this is valve 1 and 2 connected with tank 1 valve 3 and 4 connected with tank 2 and valve 5 and 6 connected with tank 3 so these is uh, these are the three tanks of this mixing process module now after that after these three connections of the walls we are having wall 8 for the discharge of the water and this is the tank 4 with uh, having a stirrer between it all the three tanks will collect the chemicals or any liquid substances in the tank 4 in an equal amount and these are three capacitor circuits one is for the uh, for stopping this tank to get a uh, fully drainage okay this is for the stirrer so that after reaching to this proximity capacitor sensor the stirrer gets on and this is the isp after which the tank stops filling okay and this is the main of uh, control box of this mixing process module in which there is you can see a switch button is given for on and off a power indicator and this is the emergency switch this is the alarm indicator with start and stop button okay all the switch uh, which works uh, for each port has been mentioned over here in this table these are the digital output ports having with two common ports and these are the digital input ports with two 24 volt supply this this will be connected to the plc trainer now this is the sum tank to in which the tank for will discharge the chemicals or any liquid substances which we have filled on on all of these tanks so the water uh, now we have since we have filled it the water so it will discharge all the water in this sum tank and this is the pump fitted over here which will supply the water to all these channels okay these are the complete the component parts of this mixing process module now we will start with the connections of uh, this control box with the plc trainer delta plc trainer so this is the delta plc trainer okay through which we have to connect this controller box of mixing process module okay so it's same as a delta plc trainer giving the switches power indicator dc supply of 4 volt 24 volt and 4 volt for the common after that some digital input ports around 24 and the digital output ports with two common ports being provided this is the your delta plc the main control unit and these four are the analog outputs with the four eight indicator bank lights okay so now we will uh, start with the connection of this delta plc trainer with this control box so let's start the connection so the connections for these two are very easy okay you have to just connect digital outputs with the digital inputs and digital inputs of this control box with the digital output box digital output ports of plc trainer so that it's vice versa okay so in this you can connect it sequentially like these ports would be connected with these ports okay so let's start the connection so you have to connect firstly this digital input x0 with this x0 okay then this x1 with this x1 you have to connect in sequence so the connection you can see is very very easy okay so connect it like in sequence i am connecting then x4 with x4 you have to just match the ports it's not a big task okay just connect it 
but you should ensure that digital output of this control box should be connected with the digital input of this ELC trainer. So do it very, very correctly. Okay. You have to connect like this and the last port X11. Extend with this, extend. Okay. Now give this common port with this common port. Okay, so we have done with the digital output ports. Now we will get the digital inputs with this digital output. So let's start the connection. So you have to connect this Y0 with Y0. And similarly, in a sequence, you have to connect all these ports. No changes will be there. Just connect it. Okay, you can take all the red patch codes. Okay, so that it would be easy to you to identify the circuit. After that, this Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi and Y6 with the Y6. Y7, the Y7, Y8, the Y8, okay, and Y9, the Y9, this Y9, the Y9, and lastly, this Y10. The wider. Okay, this is the complete circuit. You can see. Now, at last, you have to connect this P5 PS5 port with this PLC trainer. Okay, to just upload the program in your system. Just connect it very carefully. This bent portion should be fitted over here. Okay, so do it nicely. Now we'll. Just upload the program in this PLC trainer. This PLC trainer is having program. Now we will upload it uh, or in the in our systems, and then we will run this mixing pro process module again. Now we will deal with the software part of mixing process module. So firstly, open the COM manager, and here the uh, click on add. Then you have to click on the auto detect, and then just click on OK. After that, you can see detecting is successful, will appear on screen, click on OK. After that, again click on OK. Then minimize it and just open the ISP software. It will take a few seconds to get open. So a window like this will appear on your screen. Okay. So first of all, click on this project, just expand it and click on the open project, select the mixture process document. This type of screen will appear in on your desktop. You can see the letter diagrams. After that, click on monitor table for the all connections which we have done with the PLC Delta PLC trainer kit now click on tools then click on communication settings after that select the driver and click on OK now you have to click on PLC then transfer and just download the file and the software will get downloaded in your Delta PLC trainer. So now we will start with the working of this mixing process module. Before that you must ensure that your PLC trainer should, should be switched on 
by downloading the program from your system to this PLC trainer. Since now we have uh, downloaded the program from, uh, from our system to this PLC trainer. So now it's in complete setup. And also you have to ensure that the sum tank, sum tank should be 3 fourth filled minimum. Okay. After that we have to just switch on this controller box. Okay. So I'm just switching it on. Okay. So you can see the digital outputs LEDs are so get switched on. Okay. After that you have to click on the start button. Okay. And then you have to wait. Okay. The system has just started. So the tank 1, 2 and 3 is there. It will take a few, few amount of uh, the liquid substances uh, sequentially since it has taken from tanker 1. Now it uh, started from tanker 2 Then afterwards it will start pouring the water from the tanker 3. Okay. You can see the water is just uh, pouring into the tank 4. So we have to wait till it gets filled to the half of this tank 4. After that this proximity capacitor sensor will start working and the stirrer will gets on. So just wait. So these are the photo detectors. Okay. The capacitor proximity detectors which detects the level of the water. This one for the lower one and this will for the peak one. Okay. And the walls indication you can uh, see in this controller box. So just wait to get it filled till the half of the tanker. So, since it has stopped uh, pouring into the tank 4, now it, it will completely discharge the water into the sump tank after uh, this uh, capacitor proximity sensor detects its lowest level. Okay. Now, until uh, this tank 4 does not get uh, fully discharged, the next cycle would not start. Now, after all the 3 tanks get uh, fully discharged, okay. Then the pump will uh, rotate the water in all the three tanks and it will fill to this capacitor proximity sensors level. Just wait to get uh, it uh, filled. Okay, this pump will flow the water from these three walls, wall 5, 3 and 1 to this tank 1, 2, 3. Okay, so let's wait to get it filled. And the excess water uh, which doesn't go into these three tanks will get out from this eight, uh, eight number wall to so this sum tank. So after the tank 1, 2 and 3 gets properly filled, completely filled. Now after uh, these three tanks get uh, fully filled, it uh, starts pouring into this tank 4. The equal amount you can see is decreasing in equal amount from tank 1, 2, 3 into the tank 4. Until this uh, water level gets filled uh, to the second proximity capacitive sensor, it will uh, just pour all the water in this tank 4 and after that the stirrer will work. So now you can see the water is just pouring into the tank 4. So after this, okay, you can see that sensor 2 has been started scanning this uh, water level and the stirrer gets started. Now the chemicals or any other fluid which is filled in all these tanks gets poured into the tank 4 and it will just mix it out. Okay, it will come uh, continuously increase until the third sensor and then it will just get stopped. So the chemical or the fluid which you have filled in all these three tanks will mix properly in this tank 4. So just wait till the, uh, third, uh, the water level is filled till the third sensor. So now you can see uh, we have taken the full limit. Now it will again fill and pour into the tank 4. It will fill according to its capacity. It will again fill to the water level and then it will just pour into the tank 4 till this third sensor. Now till after this it will get stopped. Okay. This tank 2 get, is getting stopped. Tank 3 and tank 1. Okay. The cycle has stopped. Now it will pour, start pouring all the 3 tank uh, liquids into the tank 4. So it has started pouring uh, 
the liquid from tank 1, 2 and 3 into the tank 4. You can see. Now it will pour this liquid till this third capacitor proximity sensor. Now you can see this water is uh, reaching to this third proximity level sensor level. Just wait. Okay. So the red light is on in this proximity sensor. Now it will steady your chemical properly and after that the drainage process from this wall 7 to this sump tank will start. So its main application is all three chemicals will come to this tank 4, it will just still get and then after you can collect it in the sump tank. So it is just stirring this chemical, after this, after the stirring the chemical will collect in the sump tank. Now you can see that after uh, during the stirring process the chemicals get mixing and the, it is uh, on the process of getting empty the valve 7 is pouring out the chemical or the water in this sump tank. So you can see the level is dropping from third sensor towards the second sensor and will completely pour down this tank 4 into the sump tank. Now you can see the tank 4 uh, water level is, get, uh, is getting down and the th last third proximity capacitor sensor will sense it and just stop the process. Just wait for it. Now you can see the water level is getting down and in just few seconds it will just get stopped. Now you can see that the third sensor has uh, get stopped. Now next process it will uh, the whole water is being poured into the sump tank after this. So this is the complete process of this uh, mixing process module. Okay, so you can uh, see and repeat this process uh, according to the cycle time. So that's the complete demonstration of this product from my side. If you have any query, you can contact at Tesla Global website. For other information related to this product, you can refer to the manual. And information related to other products is given in the link given in the description. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share, and subscribe to our channel.